My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on y'all i want to give you my review of the vanguard v4 this is a large diaphragm transformless fet microphone and i'm speaking through it right now going through a la chapelle 500 dt this is essentially a mono version of the v44s so i'm always excited when i get new gear and but opening the box to the v4 you really get the feeling that you're in for something special it comes with this beautiful wooden box engraved with the Vanguard logo. And in my experience, the wooden box treatment is only reserved for high-end microphones. However, this is the most affordable microphone in Vanguard's lineup. So it really goes to show you that Vanguard really cares about uh, the presentation uh, that they're giving uh, to their customers. Uh, over the past few weeks, I've used the V4 on uh, female vocals, saxophone, uh, guitar, uh, bass, acoustic, electric, uh, rap vocals, and it's, it's shined on everything that I've put it on. We're going to take a listen here in uh, just a few seconds, and I'm going to give you examples of what I've recorded with the V4 with a lot of different types of preamps, uh, two preamps, uh, transformer coupled preamps, class A preamps, so really get an idea of how this mic sounds on different sources going through different types of pre's. Uh, I want to also mention that this is a full featured mic and by full featured, I mean, it has a, a 10 dB pad. It's got 120 Hertz roll off. It has your three polar patterns, uh, Omni figure eight and cardioid. So you're getting a full featured mic here uh, with the Vanguard V4. Uh, let's take a listen to how it sounds. So quick note, I'm not speaking into the V4 anymore. I'm uh, using my Rode uh, Procaster. Uh, but this is an artist from Nashville named Trax. And these are some rap vocals that I recorded with the V4. Uh, the mic pre I used is a Mic Tech MPA201, uh, which is a darker sounding uh, Neve inspired pre. I uh, like it on rap vocals because of its tone. It's a little darker uh, sometimes than what I would want for vocals, but I wanted to hear how the V4 sounded on it. Uh, so I'm going to uh, play these vocals here. I've got no uh, processing. Everything's bypassed uh, right now. And um, then I'll show you what I felt I had to do EQ-wise on it. All right, here we go. I just want to ride through the city with the doors wide open. Wide open. Got the doors wide open. I just wanna ride through the city with the doors wide open. Got the doors wide open. I just wanna ride through the south side. Windows down while I'm getting high. I just wanna ride through the east side. Windows down while I'm getting high. While I'm getting high, I get bread on bill like Pablo. Keep it sit, pray hard like Rallo. Been did this since Bill Hollow. Every place I bop, they follow. Remember rolling in Monte Carlo. Is this bitch so clean, no spot hole? Every pocket hole, cheese nacho. Don't worry about my guapo. I don't want no rollie or protect. Long as my fam go on board that jet. I'm running up, boy, it ain't no flex. You ain't heard me, big boy, up next. Okay, so I'm pleased with that vocal. I, I do feel it's uh, a little dark. So uh, generally what I do with hip hop vocals and I record with this pre is add a little bit in the high mids. So that's what I've done here on the uh, Shep 73. I've added uh, 2 dB at 3.2, which has opened it up a little bit. Uh, so let's hear how the, the V4 takes EQ. I'm gonna engage the Shep 73. And we had some S's poking out, so I've got a DSer on it uh, as well. And uh, let's take a listen to that now. I just want to ride through the city with the doors wide open. Got the doors wide open. I just want to ride through the city with the doors wide open. Got the doors wide open. I just want to ride through the south side. Windows down while I'm getting high. I just want to ride through the east side. Windows down while I'm getting high. While I'm getting high, I 
I get bread on Bill like Pablo. Keep it shit, pray hard like Rallo. Been did this since Bill Hollow. Every place I bop, they follow. Remember rolling in Monte Carlo. Is this bitch so clean, no spot ho? Every pocket hold cheese nacho. Don't worry about my guapo. I don't want no rollie or protect. Long as my fam go on board that jet. I'm running up, boy, it ain't no flex. You ain't heard me, big boy, up next. So you can hear the V4 takes EQ well. Uh, just that little 2 dB bump at 3.2 helped open up the vocal there. And, you know, I like microphones that I don't have to add a lot of EQ in doing a vocal. Uh, everything else in the vocal sounds balanced. If we got the tone uh, from the pre and we got the clarity uh, from the mic, which I felt made for a good combination. Uh, let's move on now to some uh, so saxophone and female vocals that I recorded with the V4. So this is an artist named Roz Malone that plays saxophone and sings. Uh, recorded this through the V4 into a uh, La Chapelle 500 DT. Uh, the saxophone I had on the full op amp side, so it was uh, clean. And the vocal I have 50-50 blended between the tube and the op amp side on the uh, 500 DT. So as you can see, there's no EQ or compression. Uh, I did have a little bit of reverb just so it wouldn't sound so dry, but this came out really good for for just the mic into the pre without any additional processing. Uh, the sax sound was big and full, and the vocals, I was really happy with how the high end came out. It's, it's not dark, it has enough air. Uh, maybe if you want a pop sound, you could add some more air, but I'm happy with the high end that I got just from the microphone itself. So, you know, really pleased with the outcome uh, with this recording with the V4. So let's check out some guitar. Uh, this first track is an electric guitar, and it was tracked through a Elysia Sculptor. I didn't use any of the shape or any compression, so it's just a clean, uh, transformerless sounding pre. So one thing I want to point out with that is that I did not use a pad there. And uh, this mic has a very high SPL. It has 135 dB SPL without the pad and 145 dB with the pad. But again, in tracking this, I didn't have to use the pad. Uh, next one down is an acoustic guitar. And this was tracked through a Chandler TG500. And the TG500 has two impedance options. It's got a 
300 ohm and 1200. So I'm going to give an example of both of those. And uh, the Chandler TG is a transformer uh, coupled preamp. So that was with the 1200 impedance, and this is now at 300. Okay, and lastly is some bass guitar, and this was also tracked through the Chandler TG. Okay, so you know, overall, uh, I'm really happy with how it's handling the transients there on the bass guitar as well as the acoustic guitar. Nothing is poking through and sounding harsh, so you know, really pleased with the sound that I'm getting uh, with the V4. So overall, I'm very impressed with the V4. It has a sound that I would describe as clean, open, forward, and full. And it gives me everything that I expect out of a transformerless microphone with its clarity, its low noise, and I could really see this outperforming microphones that cost more. And speaking of cost, let's let's talk about that. So this mic comes in at $399, uh, which is a little bit of a weird price point for me because Normally, you've got your 299 mics and then it jumps up to 499. Vanguard is in between that at 399. So, if you really think about it, if you were looking to spend 500 on a mic, you could get this mic, a mic stand, a pop filter, and mic cable uh, for you know that 500. And I want to also mention it comes with a mic cover. So, if you want to leave the mic on the stand, you could cover it with this to keep dirt and dust from getting in the capsule. But, you know, back to the price. I don't see many microphones with this feature set at that price range. Uh, so it's really incredible price for what you're getting with this microphone. And you know, even though it's a very affordable price, it also has a very premium feel uh, that you're getting as well. And I don't want to say that this is a good for your money microphone, because to me that's saying that it's good for your money, but you can spend a little more and get something a little better. I really feel like the V4 is in a class of its own in its price range and its feature set. I mean, you can sp spend a little more and get a, um, a TLM or a Mojave MA50, but you know, neither of those have a roll off pad or polar pattern. So, you know, you know, I can't stress enough the feature set that you get for the price with the V4. And I also want to point out, this mic does come with a five-year warranty, uh, which is really good over the standard one or two year that you get with most products. And overall, everything I recorded with it has came out to where I feel like I don't need to EQ it. I don't listen to everything I've recorded and immediately say, I'm going to have to cut this or boost this. And 
that's a great sign of a good mic to me, something that I can record with that I don't have to EQ to death and make drastic cuts and drastic boosts in order to make it sound good. You know, you want your microphone to just naturally sound good. And, you know, you get that with the V4. Uh, I'm definitely keeping this microphone. I'm going to tell Vanguard, go ahead and, and run my card. I'm keeping this one. You know, after using it for a few weeks, it's just something I feel like I have to have. Uh, so, you know, that's my review and thoughts of the Vanguard V4. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know. And I'll catch y'all next time.